What is this? This is a request. Augusti Dite which uh, I think I just butchered that. Kind of like this background reminds me of the Samurai documentary we've been watching. Yeah. See what they got. What do you think this is? Korean. It's K-pop? Yes. <laughs> Don't you love those stories? Like they're born a slave, but then they rise up as a king. Yeah, I was also thinking about like um, the setting of the video. I'm sure it's. I don't know. I want. I want to take a guess. You think that's in Korea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Because it's K-pop. You think it's in Korea? Mm -hmm. They're Korean. You've been? No. No. But yeah, I, li I like the. Um, like the alley you know the section where it's just like a, mm -hmm. a farmer's market it just reminds me of like an alley i was in in europe they have these like very small alleys where there's not much room and then it's just like market after market and they're selling all these like miscellaneous um foods and yeah. such i actually i'm i'm a huge fan of like the architecture like the style of architecture it's just so ancient like i think about like the forbidden city i think of like the pagodas like it's just so different from like the architecture that you would see in greece for instance you know yeah. what i mean so i love that there's still sections in asia where you can still see that yeah yeah they didn't really change the entire infrastructure they probably improved on it but but then again like i don't know how far that goes I like how the video and the lyrics, like the, the video is a good symbolic meaning of what he's saying in his lyrics where he's like, I don't need pills. You guys are weak. You guys are all talk. And then like essentially saying like he's the best in what he does and like off with their heads. Mm -hmm. So like in the video it represents like him being at the top of this, like this hierarchy or this, like he's like, I guess I would say like he's like emperor status and everyone else is just like beneath them, you know, but in his lyrics he talks about like how he's just like better, you know, or different. Tick tock some big 
I didn't know K-pop could get this aggressive. Yo. <laughs> oh shit, dead. He's like, he's like the. I want to say he's like the, the the Korean Eminem, right? <laughs> just, <laughs> just angry. Yeah, like you know how like I feel like every country has its own version of like this aggressive dominant figure that's like super outspoken and just. Just really assertive and aggressive. Like, there's no other way of putting it. But also dominant in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know, in comparison to, like, all... Like, in comparison to, like, everyone else. There's always, like... I always think of that one rapper that kind of separates himself. And it's just a little more... Just, like, outspoken. And every time they rap, you're just, like, a little baffled. I remember, I, for me, Eminem was that person as a kid. Because at that time, like, during, like, the early 2000s, there wasn't a lot of rappers that outspoken i mean you also had like 50 i think 50 was like that too 50 kind of would say things that i think most people just wouldn't really touch on like he didn't care what anybody thought and you could tell when a rapper doesn't care about what anyone thinks they just really speak freely and that's what who he reminds me of <laughs> Yo, I love how they incorporated the swordsman in the choreography. <laughs> and you see like the, the other people like in the background. Yeah. Just, like, it reminds me of like dubstep, like when everyone would just like bang their heads. Because essentially like they're chanting, but they're chanting, as you said, in like almost like a dubstep way. Yeah. You know, what's interesting. Like, I, I wonder if um, him here represents like his old self where he refers to himself as like a slave. So he's about to die, right? The old self is about to die, which is why he's like, you know, tied up. And then later on, you see him as like this king, right? So I feel like this is symbolizing his old self leaving. I, I also, I don't know, I think of it like psychologically where I feel like this version, this young version is like the primal version of himself. Like the self that has no impulse because he gets very, he's like very, this version of him is like more ratchet. Yeah. And just more aggressive and like uncontrollable where the other part is more like, it's like the, a super ego. Mm. Um, where, yeah, because like when he's dressed like that, he talks about things like um, how like he doesn't have to flex. Yeah. No, 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 sorry. This is where he he's like, oh, I'm going to spit in your face. Right. And then we, he's just like a king. He's like, I don't need a flex. So maybe you are right too. And then the other one is just like off with their heads. He's like more controlling. Yeah. Right. But he can't, he's trying to control something that's uncontrollable, mm -hmm. which is his, his it in this case. And he's, and he's blind. Yeah. Oh, that's a good cat. Yeah. <laughs>
I think those are different people, right? No, I think they're the same. Oh, are they? Yeah. Hey. Oh, he's free. <laughs> He's gonna kill the emperor. Hmm, yeah. with a gun. Which symbolizes like how much more futuristic he is compared to the king. How much, yeah, he's like progressive. Yeah. Yo, know, this really reminds me of like the, the documentary. The, the, the Nobu the Nobunaga situation where he found the guns. <laughs> Where he was like the first to incorporate guns in battle. Yeah. I'm out. 